Hi there, I'm Kieran Milne. I'm a product marketing manager with Juniper Networks. Hi, I'm Michael. I'm the product manager for the QF Access at Juniper. Thanks for joining us, Michael. We've got our ongoing vlog series on kind of the new and latest data center EVPN VXLAN features. You've got something L2 for us today. What have you got for us? Hey, Kieran, I have a, a cool feature called Enhanced Loop Detect, which uh, completely eliminates uh, um, spanning tree in our uh, data center uh, fabrics, right? So even if uh, we move from the traditional uh, centralized uh, architecture model with access aggregation core, now we are moving to the IP fabrics using EVP and VXLAN uh, topologies. There is still a little bit of uh, a risk of creating uh, Ethernet loops, even in case of EVP and VXLAN, right? So you have uh, uh, built-in EVPN loop uh, uh, protection mechanisms, but still, if the proximity team uh, in the middle of the night uh, by accident connects wrongly the, the cabling uh, um, within the top of the rack switch level, there is a little risk of creating a, an Ethernet loop within the VPN VXLAN, right? So that's why we wanted to address this problem and we created a new uh, um, approach for uh, detecting faster these loops, right? Faster than can BGP do for the uh, MAC duplicate detection. So with this new feature called Enhanced Loop Detect, we are reusing the CFM standardized protocol where we can not only send the CFM heartbeats uh, instead of enabling spanning tree on, on the EDP and VXLAN fabric, but we also leverage some of the EDP and information uh, inside the, the CFM TLVs, right? So we can leverage the uh, information regarding the ESI values, uh, the, the name of the node, name of the interface. So these additional capabilities uh, will serve the proximity team to identify in case of a problem where the source of the loop really happened, right? Where was this error? So someone can just log on the box, right? And check which ESI actually originated that heartbeat. So on, on the example we are showing here, we have just uh, two leaves, someone wrongly connected both of these leaves together and each port on this leaf was enabled with different ESI and it just created an Ethernet loop, right? So with, this, with the enhanced loop detect using CFM, we just not only block the port uh, in order to, to kill the, the Ethernet loop, but we also uh, can uh, identify where this wrong connectivity really happened, right? On which node, on which port, and on which ESI, right, from EDPN. So really cool comparing to uh, purely control plane based loop detections, which we also support, but we wanted to bring something additional in order to make sure that the loop detection is super fast, right? That's great, Michael, thanks for that. So that's great coverage for the feature. What are some key points or takeaways for folks uh, from this session? Yeah, so the main points are, I don't want to see spanning tree in my EVP and VXLAN fabric anymore because if I'm buying or building a new EDP and VXLAN fabric, it's not to enable again spanning tree at the access, right? So we don't want to do that. We, we believe that uh, using the IEEE standardized CFM loop detection protocol, we are just doing better things. And then we improve the speed at which we detect these loops in case of an error, obviously. And then we improve the visibility on the sources of these loops, right? So having a, a tool set which, which gives you that information it, it is very important because you, you can quickly fix these errors. So I think it's it's a cool feature, right, for uh, the proximity team for for the production networks. Absolutely, as you say, it's that kind of it's a fine detailed type of feature, but when uptime is everything, right? Up, uh, when uptime is just table stakes these days, every little bit that you can keep the the, the uh, issues out of your network and keep the uptime good is a is a good feature to have, and it, by all accounts, an easy one to implement, yeah, right? So, absolutely. Yeah. good, good. Well, thank you, Michael, for joining us. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, if you want more uh, uh, coverage or more uh, some more viewing of other uh, EVPN VXLAN features, check out the other vlogs we've been doing. And if you want to dig into more detail, check out the Q1 2021 masterclass we'll be doing on uh, these features where we'll dig into even more fine detail for implementation and troubleshooting and those kind of things. So thanks everybody for joining. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Kieran. All right. Thanks. Bye, everybody. We'll see you on the next one.